We're talking tree planting, climate change, and global warming, and all the issues in between. I've got a man who's passionate about this. Nana I'll say Dakwa is my guest. Good morning, Chief. Thank you very much. How's the Good Green morning. Republic project doing? Doing great. Great. great Why great, do you great. want to plant trees? Um, because trees are life, you know, mm. as we always say. I mean, um, back in school, in primary school, mm. the, the science we did, we were told that the um, trees produce the oxygen that we breathe, and that's what, you know, gives us life. And so if trees are what gives us life, then I have no choice than to ensure that mm. as I continue to live upon the face of the earth, mm. I try to plant more trees mm. so we can also give more life to generations unborn. Why is this, uh, the, the shots on our screen? Yeah, um, this? this was at a young Dakpemili in the northern region, close okay. to Tamale, okay. you know, where on the 1st of July 2018, we planted um, 3,500 trees. Okay. And we had your good self, you know, <laughs> we had your good self there, you know, joining <laughs> forces with us to do this and we're okay. very, very grateful flying all the way from Accra to be a part of this. I mean, that, okay. that shows how committed you are to the cause of tree plants. You say you have an ambition to plant about 20 million trees. Yeah, 20 million trees. And as, as we speak, I mean, um, there's a company, Ketekrachi Timber Recovery, uh, who have shown interest and want to come on board for us to expand to 100 million. Mm. Yeah, it sounds very ambitious, but uh, we are motivated to do this because it's, it's doable, it's possible. Okay. I know of a young guy in Germany, Felix, um, who is doing a trillion trees. And okay. This is a young guy, 25, 26 year old guy. Mm. Trillion trees, that's the ambition. And I so see. 100 million, I think, is still within range. I see school children in. Ah, oh, that's. Oh, that's. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, I see school children in yeah. there. What do you tell them to get them out to plant the trees? Yeah, before we. we once we go, we go into a community, what we do is that we try to engage young people of varied interest, you know, mm. those in the schools, okay. you know, and then we also go out there to the streets and try to educate young people about the need for them to be very, very uh, concerned about what goes on around okay. them, especially the issue of climate change and okay. global warming, mm -hmm. which is changing a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And um, most of them, when you talk to them, are not really aware okay. of these things. And so after taking them through this um, series of education, mm -hmm. they now feel like being a part of okay. what we do. Okay. And so they come on board and we all do this you know, as a way if of protecting we, our future. If we plant the trees like you're mm. doing, you planted how many trees uh, uh, last year? Last oh. year we planted 7,500 trees. 7,000. The, the shot you saw was a young Dakpe okay. we planted 3,500, mm. and then in Sang, a community called Sang, in the Mion district, okay. of, also of the northern, northern region, region, close to Yendi, okay. we did 4,000 um, trees there. Well, when you plant these trees, what do you hope to gain from it? Uh, what would they change? Yeah, it, it changes a lot. You know, um, trees can serve as wind breaks, okay. you know, so for instance, in the north, where we did this 3,500 trees, I mean, you have houses there, and any time there's a storm, you have roofs, you know, ripping off, okay. because there's nothing to really break right, the, the winds right. and, and, and close down on the speed, and so it, it gives us, you know, it, it can serve as a wind break, it mm. gives us medicine, okay. because it said that one out of every four medicines we mm. take in are from plants from or plant trees. Plant. Okay. You know, it, it, it can also give us air, you okay. know, the air we breathe. Mm. And then the most important thing is that it sequesters carbons okay. from the atmosphere. Okay. You know, because like I said, the elementary science we're taught, mm. carbons, the trees take carbons and, okay. and process them into the oxygen, oxygen that, that we that breathe. breathe. Okay. And so the trees are very, very important. Mm. Even in the process of producing the oxygen that we need, mm. it also saves us humans from some health hazards. Okay. And so when we do not plant the trees, we humans tend to inhale the carbons that the trees are supposed to take as I raw see. material for mm. food. Why has it taken us so long as a country to do that? But you're doing this on your own, by the way. Yes. Uh, a, why has it taken us so long to do this? We have the Forestry Commission, we have the Ministry of Agri, we have the Ministry of Environment and Science. What is happening? Um, I think um, we've taken things for granted for long, you know, sometimes when you are blessed with so much, you know, you tend to take things for granted. And we are in the tropics and, mm -hmm. I mean, I do not know how we have, you know, we went to sleep and, mm -hmm. you know, now um, I'm waking up. The Forestry Commission for me is doing a, a great job. Okay. I mean, uh, under Sir John, you have okay. what we call the youth in afforestation. Okay. It's quite late in the day, but it's, it's better, it's now rolling up, mm -hmm. you know, so you have 
a lot of young people working to plant trees and okay. government is paying them for doing that. Mm. I think that as a people, we can do more planting trees and not burdening government, okay. you know, to be paying people. So in our homes? In our homes. And we can even, like, uh, you know, I've been, you know, uh, pushing that we need to have a national tree planting day. Really? Now, if we have a national tree planting day, okay. for instance, okay. let's say 1st July, since 1st mm. July is no longer a holiday now. If, if we want to adapt 1st July as and make a, it a national, a tree, national planting tree planting day. day. What will happen on that day? Bro, we, if, if from the president to the ordinary Ghanaian goes out on that particular day, okay. To plant trees we can do 10 15 million trees in a single day right so then we wouldn't have to you know employ a group of young people mm. to be doing that embedding the already strained pairs of government ah, i see you know, so everybody first july you go out you plant, you plant a, tree. a tree where do they get the seedlings from for from example? the forestry commission you okay. know so region by region district we have seedlings there that people can go for and okay. plant because on that day as a nation we have set aside to plant have trees. you written to the president about this? To the, ah. this this plan of a national tree planting day? Not yet, you know. I'm not yet. I've not done that should, yet. But should. I think that it's something that we really want to push, and um, okay. we we we're doing our homework to try and get it. it how do you ensure that the trees that you plant are not, you know, cut or logged for for business? Because that's yeah. why that's why we are where we are now. Yeah, sustainability. And so what we do is that. We, Chiefs, our traditional rulers, okay. you know, have a, a significant role to play in mm. this in this battle. Mm. Now they are the custodians of land, and so once we go into a community, we engage them first to let them appreciate that this is a matter of life and death, okay. and that it is in their own interest and in the interest of their subjects okay. that we plant a lot of trees so mm. people living within their jurisdiction can breathe clean, okay. you know, air. And so once they understand this, they then. Okay you know, a portion mm. lands mm. that we can use for our plantation okay. and assure us that those those mm. uh, um, trees are not mm. going to be, you know, cut down at a point or they're not going to be, right. the land is not going to be sold to anybody for any other purpose. Nana, the so, last question to you, I'm curious, where do you get your money to plant the trees? Yeah. Um, are you rich? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not that rich, you know, but uh, when, when you are driven by passion, you know, I, I started this uh, uh, two years ago, mm. And, you know, started on my own. And then after the official launch, we did some pilots in Winneba mm. and in Ningo. Mm. And after the official launch in Tamale, quickly the Forestry Commission came on board. Okay. And, and that's why I said, you know, Sir John is doing a great job. Right. We invited him as a special guest. Mm. And there and then, he wasn't able to come, but the Northern Regional uh, Director of Forestry okay. was the one who represented mm. him. And he made a firm promise that it was a good thing we were doing. Okay. It falls within their, you know, their mandate. Their mandate okay. And so he was going to give us technical and material support. Mm. And true to their word, the 7,500 trees that we planted. They gave them to They, you. they get, came in with their technical people to okay. help us with, you know, preparation mm. of land and mapping and all that. And also provided the seedlings. I so see. what we could do is to marshal the energies of the young people to go in there and plant and make sure we Nana, protect those I trees. thank you very much. I wish you well. I hope that on the 1st thank of you. July, we will have a national tree planting day. Yeah, we need to push uh, this. And, and we'll I, I, need, I need the media, you know, your good <laughs> self to help us propagate that. Let's push it and get it. Because once we do that, okay. we can plant millions of trees in a single day. All right. Uh,